Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an amazing bargain. I was, this was incredible. I was truly around on Amazon, as I sometimes do, and I saw this still available. Daniel Barenboim's Complete Wagner Operas. Of course, it's not the Complete Wagner Operas. It's the Complete Wagner Operas that Barenboim recorded, beginning with The Flying Dutchman, none of those early ones. And, and, the cool thing about it is that this contains 34 CDs and I saw it on Amazon for $29. I saw it two different ways for $29 and for $40. So the difference is $11. Either way, it is an unbelievable bargain and it's still out there. Now, should you get it? I know, I know we're talking about Wagner, we're talking about operas, we're talking about Bayreuth, we're talking about the great post-war Wagnerian singers, we're talking about all the opera cookies who love this singer and hate that singer and all this stuff. And let's let's be perfectly straightforward. The singing here is not the golden age of Wagnerian voices. It's not. But it doesn't mean it's not good, and it doesn't mean there aren't wonderful ensemble casts who know what they're doing with Baron Boim, because most of these people perform this stuff on stage or it's recorded live one or the other. And we'll go through them and, and in a little more detail. But my point is that Baron Boim is the greatest Wagner conductor of the second half of the 20th century, bar none. He, he is, he, we talk about sometimes, you know, operas not being singers' operas and conductors' operas. Wagner can go both ways, of course. You, you, they really are for the singers. You want to have great singing. But they also depend more than many other people's operas on the conductor's conception, on pacing, on transitions, on understanding where the climaxes are. And Baron Boim just does. It, 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 this is his great legacy. It really is. He's done other things that are marvelous. But if, if anything were to survive him, it would have to be his Wagner, because there is just not another conductor who combines the theatricality of some of the earlier, you know, the Booms and Kyle Burris and Clemens Krauss and those people, and the 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 grandeur and nobility of people like Fort Wengler and the and 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 and, and, and I mean, you know, all of these different qualities, the chamber music detail that you get from Carrion. I mean, everybody has their their thing, their approach to Wagner, but Baron Boim really really has the complete package. And you hear it in every single one of these. There is not a dead spot in these performances. And that's saying an awful lot in Wagner. It really is. So, and the price, my God, the price. It's, it's, it's just unreal. So you get a pretty thick little bookie um, on these 34 CDs. And let's see who we get, who we have here. Um, yes, we have lots of cast lists. All right, let's go to the cast lists. Flying Dutchman, are we ready? Dalland is Robert Hall, who's very good. Santa is Jane Eaglin. She's not very good. Flying Dutchmans tend to live or die on having crappy Santas. And, and she's not crappy, but I mean, she's just, she's not a Santa that has the intensity to carry the opera through the whole thing, because she's got to be like insane from the beginning, and, and she's got to stay insane and interestingly insane. She doesn't. Um, Eric is Peter Seifert, who's in all of these, or a lot of these, and he's marvelous. Tenor Peter Seifert is wonderful. Felicity Palmer is a very good Mary. And uh, Rolando Villazone, ooh, is the steerman. Yeah, cool. When was this? This was back in, in, in like, you know, the dawn of time, 2001, when he was just a kid. So there you go. The, the, you know, there's always a problem with the Flying Dutchman, but the conducting is marvelous. And it's the Dresden, is it the Dresden version? Yeah, the earlier version. The one without the transfiguration coda thing. Okay. Next, let's see what else have we got here. Tannhäuser. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tannhäuser. Well, which Tannhäuser, right? You know, you never really know. Um, it follows the Dresden version, except for Act One, Scene Two, which is based on the Paris version. I hope that's clear. Um, uh, Rene Pop is the bass. Is Hermann the Landgraf? He's fabulous. Peter Seifert is Tannhäuser. He's also very, very good. Um, Bob Levine, when he reviewed this performance, felt he wasn't world-weary enough. Well, maybe not, but he sure sounds good. It's, it counts for a lot. And Thomas Hampson is Wolfram, and he's marvelous, and these other people are all pretty good. And we have Jane Eaglin again as Elizabeth. She's better than she was in The Dutchman. Um, I still don't think she's an ideal Elizabeth, but, you know, what the hell. And Venus is Valtrautmeyer, who sucks. 
I mean, Waltraut Meyer was just one of those Wagnerian singers. She went around doing things, singing all kinds of stuff in a with a not very attractive voice, um, and and she could be just unlistenable or she could be okay. I, I don't think she was ever really wonderful, but she's she's not good here. There's no no sex appeal in this Venus, none whatsoever, and so that's a problem. But again, the conducting is amazing. Lohengrin, fabulously conducted and note complete, no cuts, with Renee Pop, Peter Seifert, Emily McGee as Elsa von Brabant. Emily McGee um, pops up in a couple of these things, and in a couple of things she's wonderful, and a couple of things she's not, or she's good. She's also not like someone I would write home about, but she's okay here as Elsa. Some other commentators pointed out that she sounds rather like Ortrude, and she does, who's Deborah Pulaski, which makes them sort of like not differentiated enough, and Pulaski has some problems in her, you know, ultimate nastiness scenes. And let's see, who's, who else have we got here? Oh, if we have got, let's see, the King's Herald. Oh, we don't care about the King's Herald. And where's, 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 where's Telemarod? Oh, we did that. Falk Struckmann, who is, is pretty good. And we all have, of course, Baron Boehm's fabulous conducting with the Staatskapelle Berlin. Let me make sure we have all the orchestras here. Um, that's also doing, they're also doing Dutchman, and they're also doing Tannhäuser. So, so far we're with the Staatskapelle Berlin. Then we have Tristan und Isolde, which Baron Boehm has conducted five million times. He's made a million videos, and he paces it so beautifully. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, this is with the Berlin Philharmonic. Um, so that may matter to some of you. Siegfried Jerusalem was a very good Tristan. Matthias Salmon and a very good King Mark. Waltraut Meyer is Isolde. Sort of the weak link. I mean, you know, what do you expect? Um, she's not bad in the sense that, you know, she gets the role, but the voice is just, I just, I can't deal with it with, with, with the, I don't know. Brangain is Mariana Lepovshek. I always like her. So there you go. I mean, she also has her on and off days, but she's a cool singer. So, the, but the conducting is marvelous, and there you are. Then we've got Meistersinger. Hans Sachs is Robert Hole, who's quite good. Um, and uh, I mean, there's so many people in this opera, you know, we have to deal with Beckmesser is Andrea Schmidt. He's very good. Uh, let's see, the problem here is, is, is what's her name? Emily McGee, who's Ava. She's just not good as Ava. It's kind of like the Yoko Meistersinger, you know, with Katerina Lagzenza, whatever her name was, also not, not a great Eva. You know, it's very funny. People talk about Wagner almost exclusively in terms of conducting, but one bad singer can wreck the whole thing. They are singers' operas. These singers have a lot to do. And Emily McGee is not an Eva. Oh, not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, well, where's Walter von der Vogelweide? Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. I think it's ciphered again. Um, but let me make sure. Uh, so Hans Sachs, Vate, Blink, Conrad. Balthazar, why don't they do, why do they do these? Oh, there's Walter von Stolzing. Yeah, there he is. Uh, yes, it's Peter Seifert. And he's excellent. Absolutely excellent. And again, the conducting is to die for. It's absolutely first rate. And it's with the Bavarian, oh, the Bayreuth Festival. Yeah, it's the Bayreuth Festival thing. So that's, that's always fun. And he really has the Bayreuth Orchestra sounding as good as it ever has. It's, it, it's extraordinary. You hear the beeps. I mean, isn't that like our life now? Our phones go off. We hear little beepy things everywhere. We live in this electronic universe. Okay, uh, The Ring. This is with the Bayreuth Festival Orchestra. It is the best conducted ring you'll ever hear in your life. I don't care what anyone says about anybody else. It is amazing. And it has some wonderful casting. It really, really does. I mean, the Votons, John Tomlinson uh, is really, really good. And, and Graham Clark is a really good Loga. And uh, Fricka is Linda Finney, and she's very good. I mean, it's all really, really, very good. And and Alberich, oh, is Gunter von Cannon. He's Gunter von Cannon. He's terrific. He's a great Alberich. Um, Mima is Helmut Pompuch. It's it's a wonderful Rheingold. It's perfect ensemble cast. They're all going at it, and it's just marvelous. Then we've got Die Valkyrie, um, with let's see, Sigmund is Poul Elming. He's okay. Hunding is Matthias Hörle. He's very good. John Tomlinson is a great Voton. He's one of the great Votons. Sieglinda is Nadine Secunda. Eh, I can take it or leave it. Brunhilde, Ann Evans, first class. 
throughout the ring. She is a great Brunhilde. Young, fresh-voiced, intense, understands what she's singing about. She is the high point of this ring cycle in many ways. And thank God, because she has a lot to do. Um, and then we've got that. And Fricka is Linda Finney, and they're all fine. The Valkyries scream and yell, and that's good. Siegfried. Siegfried Jerusalem is Siegfried. I mean, he was the Siegfried of this period, period and a very, very fine one. Uh, Mima is Graham Clark again. John Tomlinson is the Wanderer. Um, Ann Evans is Brunhilde. We're in business. It's terrific. And it's not boring, which is kind of amazing for Siegfried. Gerda Damerung, well, you know who the cast is, so we don't have to go through this anymore. It's all these people, except for Valtraut Meyer is Valtraut. And it's a good role for her. She knows Valtraut. I mean, she doesn't have too much to do, and she's in her best frame. And that's her name, after all, so she should get it right. So this ring is a great ring, and it's it's terrific. And let's see, what else have we got? We should have Ho, 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 Parsifal. Yes, Parsifal. Here it is. Now, Parsifal has to have that kind of shimmery quality about it. It has to go to be shimmery. It's to shimmer. And this shimmers. Use vibrato, folks. Lots of it. And Parsifal, you have to. Because there's this sort of tension throughout the work between sensuality and religious seriousness. I mean, I, th I detest the piece. I'll be perfectly honest with you. But in spite of the fact that I think the story is horrible and I can't stand it, I love listening to it, like in the background or for other things. It's beautiful. It's all beautiful. As long as I don't have to pay any attention to what's going on, I'm okay with it. I just can't stand the story. It's ridiculous. But, you know, but we have Joseph Van Damme, John Tomlinson, Matthias Hurla, Siegfried Jerusalem, Gunter von Kahnen, and, and Gundria's Valtraut Meyer in one of her better roles ever. I mean, it's not weekly cast. It, it's, it's, I, I mean, she's not Krista Ludwig, you know, she's not my ideal Kundry, but, but she gets the job done. She really does. And wow, wow, wow. It's a gorgeously conducted performance. Beautiful, fabulous, just, just to put on and listen to. I mean, it'll help your plants grow. You know, that's sort of what it's for. It's good for your potted plants. Anyway, so this is for $29, $30, $40. Just an unbelievable deal. It's the best Wagner conducting probably you'll ever hear. It consistently there throughout all of these operas. It's phenomenal. I mean, Baron Boehm is a genius Wagnerian. He really is. Interestingly, his uh, you know opera excerpt things that he did like in Chicago were really boring. But in the theater, with cast and the whole deal, and you can take the long view. He's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And so this is really an incredible deal, and it's a good doorstop as well. So if any of you are looking to like sort of do Wagner really quickly and and in you know with some of the best singers we'll hear these days. Um, this is this is the way to go. And it's just, it's irresistible at the price, I think. Anyway, so keep on listening, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.